X-Shocks are another one of the string dampening type system things, the crossbow quieting tools that I installed here on Bungie. Bungie. You'll see that Bungie has one installed and one not installed. And the reason for that is, and it's the first point I want to make about these when you install them, put them in the corners, pull the string back a little bit, seat it nicely, take the adhesive off, put it in place. The instructions say wait 48 hours before you shoot the crossbow. And I'm telling you right now, wait 48 hours before you shoot the crossbow. The problem was I rushed it. I went out there, I put them in place, went out there and just because I wanted to hear the with, test it with a decibel meter and all that. And I wanted to get that video done. It's all done. It's up. You should be watching it if you haven't seen it already. It has some interesting little tidbits, some interesting conclusions about the ability to quiet your crossbow and to pull that volume down a little bit. Watch that video if you haven't already. But when I shot it, it threw this one off. Now, I eventually found that in the yard. I have it. I can reinstall it, clean it up, and reinstall it. But I also bought another set. I'll use that to install on here and put them in place. But you're essentially just going to pull that string back, feed it in there, and put it in place, and wait the 48 hours for that adhesive to set. One other thing you need to know about the X-Shock system, however, is that when you go to change the string, it's going to make it very difficult. At least on this crossbow, the way the limbs are set up, it is a recurved crossbow. It does create a few problems, and I'm not real happy with it. In fact, I thought about removing the one that's still on there because I wasn't real happy with it. But you're going to pull back that string. You pull it back with the string with the stringer, and then you try to pull that string out. The problem is, is that you can't get the string pulled back through that stringer because it's compressed between the stringer and the X-Shocks pad. Now, it's not hurting the string any because that pad is very rubberized, it's very compressible. So I don't think it's hurting the string any, but it makes it very difficult to get that string through the stringer and to get the string off. So you really can't go adjusting your string an awful lot. It makes it, it does diff make it much more difficult. So that's a problem. I think I need to get that fixed. I mean, I, I'm not sure I'm going to keep those in place if that's the problem. And it may have to do with needing to pull the stringer even tighter and bring those limbs back even farther to create enough of a gap to get that string through. I'm not sure. We'll play around with that. And if I learn anything new, I'll post that with you. But just be aware that it can complicate things a little bit for those of you who shoot recurve crossbows. Well, I hope you got something out of this video here on Death by Bungie. This is Crossbow Appreciation Month. I hope you're enjoying it. Hope you're getting ready for the upcoming crossbow seasons wherever you are. And until next time, all hail Bungie! Bungie.